Hey, hey, everybody, this is Larry. This is me going with Q2 of the Biweekly Contest 95. Find consecutive integers from a data stream. Uh, hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, join me on Discord. Let me know what you think about this problem. So this one I actually misread a little bit. You could watch me solve it live, uh, so I'm not going to explain it. To, uh, you know, I mean, I'm explaining the problem, but I'm not going to explain how I misread it. I just kind of, for some reason, I thought consecutive returns to the last k values that you go to num. So I confused the num and the value. That that was my mistake. But short answer is just you have to keep, it, it becomes a sliding window problem, which you just keep track of the, um, of when you slide out. And that's basically the idea um, that I had. And I, like I said, I, I kind of did this in a different way initially because, um, because I misread the problem. So this maybe is a little bit more uh, convoluted than it used uh, needs to be. But yeah, basically I have a deck, I keep track of the inputs and I just keep track of a table. Um, whenever we get a number, we add it. If, if we have more than K items, we just pop and remove. Otherwise we just make sure that, um, yeah, I mean, and you don't even need a, yeah, make sure that this is a number of K, but you don't actually even need uh, a, a table on this, right? Because like I said, I misread this problem, so that's why I use a table, but you can actually just have, you know, a counter that counts the number of num that, or number of value that you've seen, and that's it, right? So this could be just like, you know, basically you could do this. Uh, I mean, it's the same thing as if you just add, if num is equal to sub.v, and that would basically uh, give you the same thing, and then maybe just add the same thing here or something like that, but, right? Um, yeah, that's pretty much all I have for this one. Um, this is going to be, the way that I did it, like I said, it's going to be linear time, linear space. Um, you could probably make some optimization, but if you do it in a cube uh, deck-based way, it's still going to take some time. But you don't even, I mean, I guess you probably need to, but you may be able to do a little bit it's smarter about space. Um, but, yeah, but yeah, maybe not. Um, cool. That's all I have for this one. Let me know what you think. Let me know how you did. And let me know if you misread it the same way. I don't know. I'm just having a bad reading day. So yeah, um, you could watch me solve a live during the contest. Now, this is so easy to get it wrong and so on. But okay, fine. Consecutive integers and data stream. What does that mean? And um, the last k integers that you go to value force otherwise. <clears throat> that's not even consecutive. That's why I was so confused about this one. Okay, fine. Force num. Okay, fine.
Oh, snap. Did I misunderstood this? How can I get this one so well? Okay, so. Oh, right. Um, wow, I totally misread this one. I thought it's the same value, but not. I thought this is the. Oh, wow. I totally misread this one. Um, I mean, same thing, really, I guess. Uh, wow. Wow, 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 wow. I am an idiot today. Okay, how did I fix this? Do, 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 do. Oh, wow, I didn't even use Ryu, so that's, that is just, what a misread. I don't even need to do that. I just need to do this. I told him it's this problem, huh? And somehow it's just right for the example case. I told him it's read it. <laughs> yeah, thanks for watching. Hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, join me on Discord. Let me know what you think about this problem, this contest, everything in between. Um, yeah, stay good, stay healthy, to good mental health. I'll see y'all later and take care. Bye-bye.